Hey, Kyle. Where are you going in such a hurry, man? You weren't going to get that, that motorcycle, were you? Why don't you come and grab a seat? Joseph, we've talked about this before. You know how much I want to ride. Yeah, we've, we've talked about this before, and it's just too dangerous for you to ride that. No, not necessarily. I had the surgery, and it was supposed to fix it. And it did. You know, look, Kyle, the doctor said that the surgery was only partially successful. And the reality is, is that it can easily come back, especially if you're under you know, extreme stress. But I had the surgery six months ago, and it's been six months since I had a seizure. And I got the down payment for the bike. And there's a sale going on right now, Kyle. The time to do this is now. Look, Kyle, it is not a matter of if, but when your epilepsy comes back. I mean, can you imagine what would happen if you were riding a bike at 80 miles an hour down the road? I mean, God forbid something happens to you. Joseph, I'm more than capable of stopping a seizure. And I just want what you and my dad had, something we could bond over. Kyle, look, I, you know how I feel about this. And yes, I, I get it. I understand where you're coming from. I mean, your father and I, we had some amazing rides. I mean, heck, it was probably the one of the best moments of my life. But if I could, I would, I would go back and I would, I would take it all back if that would mean that I would not be responsible for him not being alive today and that you would have a father. My father would have wanted me to learn. Kyle, you don't even understand what you're asking of me. I mean, look, I made a promise to your father on his deathbed, and the only way that I can atone for this is to make sure that you don't go through the exact same tragic events that he did. His life is gone, Kyle. He had his whole life ahead of him. Think about it. If you were riding your motorcycle, again, I'll, I'll say 80 miles an hour, can you imagine what would happen? I mean, look, newsflash, Kyle. You'd be lucky if you were not brain dead, if you were able to actually walk away from it. Look, you'd be in a coffin if they could actually find all of your body parts. Over dramatic. You just don't get it, Joseph. Look, Kyle. I, I know what I'm talking about. Please don't do this. Kyle, I, I failed him. I failed your dad in this life. Uh, and, and look, I just don't want you to go down the same road. Please don't do this. Kyle! Wow, that's a nice truck you got there, Kyle. A 88 Chevy Silverado, right? Hey, Mr. Gomez. So you're finally going to get that motorcycle, huh? Gomez, save it. I... All my friends have been doubting me, including my own uncle. Of all people. Maybe you don't know what I'm going to say. Maybe I think you're a little bit different than your old man. What's that supposed to mean? Listen, Kyle, listen up. You have no idea how limitless you are when you don't care about what other people say or think about you. But I mean, they're kind of right, Mr. Gomez. You've known me my whole life. And having to live with this setback, I'm not your average 23 year old. Kyle, I've had two stands of one of mine inside my heart. My eyesight and sight is going bad. I have bad feet. Speaking of my feet, I, I bought some new shoes yesterday because my old ones were going bad and I needed to get oh, some new ones no. because of my bad feet. There you go ranting again. My hearing ain't gone yet, son. Anyway, yeah, the old ones were comfortable, but they just wouldn't do the job anymore. Like any new shoe, they didn't feel so good after I put them on for the very first time. But as I continued to wear them and kept walking, by the end of that all, that darn discomfort went away and I got used to them. Mr. Gomez, I got places to be. Good talking to you. Wait! I'm telling you, there's a purpose in this. 
high on. Just because you may feel impossible to write doesn't mean you're not capable of it. Just like I had discomfort with my shoes the first time, so will you struggle the first time around. But if you keep at it, you may find that all those doubts that other people had about you don't exist unless you let them to. Only you can determine whether you succeed or fail. two newer NL660 LED panels. As for our shotgun mics, we have an Audio-Technica LOZ shotgun mic. And over here we have the Tacstar 5GC598 shotgun mic, along with a Panasonic S5 camera, which is equipped with a Helios 44, which is a 58 millimeter lens at an aperture at F2. And then as for, for our diffusion, we also have two circular diffusion panels. And that's all the gears that we use. Uh, really hope you like the film. <laughs> 